Now we can do a do an experiment, uh, which is a very very simple experiment. You just pour some nitric acid over over copper filings that is able to produce to to produce NO two gas. Okay. Now NO two is a is a brown gas. Okay. Obviously with something else. That is there, fine. So we have bottled water. Now this NO2 that forms, it dimerizes. Okay? It dimerizes to form N2O4. You know what dimers are? You know what polymers are? Mm -hmm. What are polymers? Polymers are the same molecules connected one after okay. another. Many. Polymers, right? Molar. When we talk about polymers, we are talking about thousands, right? Hmm. At least uh, thousand, in, in thousand. But yes, more than two you can say is a polymer. Uh, uh, now, 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 yes, uh, uh, this, this, it dimerizes. Now the beauty of the whole thing is that this is a brown gas and this is a colorless gas. Okay? This reaction is an exothermic reaction with delta H equal to with delta H is equal to minus 52.7 kilojoule per mole. Okay. Minus it is minus 57.2 kilojoule per mole. Okay. So so what we do, we take that, we take that tube, okay, where the reaction is, is, is undergoing and you put it in three different environment. You put it, put, put one, you, you seal this beaker, okay, and and that you have that test tube in which you have that brown gas you put it in after after the reaction is kind of continuing you put the whole thing in in a freezing mixture you understand freezing mixture so so they must have put some ice into zero degree centigrade of water that will take a lot of lot of time to to for the temperature to go up and then you have the other beaker at room temperature okay the again sealed and at room temperature okay so it is room temperature and the other one is is water at water at 363k so that is how much? 90 degrees centigrade. Not boiling, but hot enough, right? So, so this is water at 363K. You can say this is this is water at 298K. Hmm? Okay, what do you expect? What do you expect? When the temperature is less, so, so if I add the energy term here, that becomes pretty understandable. Okay? That becomes pretty understandable. Okay. Now what do you expect to happen? <clears throat> what do you expect to happen? As as you start raising the temperature, as you start raising the temperature, which which is the highest here, what happens? It'll 
this the reverse reaction will be favored and more and more of NO2 will be formed and how do you know about it by the brown color so this will have an an intensified brown right so so this is, this is red but maybe so so this is intense brown okay What? No, no. After after this reaction is complete, we have and, uh, this is less brown. Okay, and this is almost colorless. Okay, this is almost colorless. Okay, almost colorless. So that is an experiment that that very easily shows to you, and with, with such a such a small and simple apparatus, the impact of temperature on on an exothermic reaction, right?